Welcome back to Zach Collects Stuff. Um, if you remember the beginning of my channel, if you've watched those first videos, you kind of know how I started making videos. And that is um, with a collection that my dad came across through a friend of his that owns a storage facility. And uh, what it really is, is just a bunch of comic cards and um, other memorabilia from kind of 90s comic lines, Marvel, there's some DC stuff. And so I made about five or six videos from that. And then we have more. Uh, the guy that was cleaning out this, this storage unit came across more of this collection from the same unit that he hadn't gotten to yet. And he dropped it off to my dad and said, here, here's more stuff for you guys to look through. And so um, this is what we have. And for those of you that know figures from the 90s, you can see a few cool ones in here. Nothing huge, but there's some cool figures and there's some cards. So I'm going to probably do two videos on this one. And uh, we'll get through uh, the figures probably in the first video and maybe the cards. There's a bunch of cards that line the bottom. And so we'll kind of go digging and see if we can find anything else. Now, my dad actually went through and organized this session of them so they're all um it shouldn't take me quite as long to <laughs> to to pour hours into organizing it and um and making sense of it but uh this one it's fun it's just a little extra um an extra video that comes along with those first five or six videos that i made from that first collection so let's get digging and i'll show you what we got okay so diving right in um obviously we have the figures back here and i'll kind of go through these um, individually and give us some details on them, at least from what I've found out is value-wise anyways. Um, but I want to start off with these four mini-comics. And so um, in the boxes were these, from what I can tell, 1983 Kellogg's Cinnamon Mini Buns mini-comics. At least that's the date that is given out. I don't know if I can, that's what people had put on there. But can't find really any sold comps on these. Um, I've tried searching in a number of different ways. Um, there's a bunch of them that are listed anywhere between 15 and 20 bucks. So um, I would think realistic value, I would think like five to $10 on this one here. Um, but cool, this little mini comic really good condition for being like a cereal prize these are really nice so so we have these two flash comics um versus dr polaris polaris uh, again from the same giveaway on the back here it tells us the four that are um in the little mini series there but these ones again there's no sold listings from these on ebay um Looks like they're listed again, like the Superman, probably around 15 to 20 bucks each. Um, I would say, like I said, realistic value, probably around five to 10 bucks. But these, again, are really in nice condition, except for these ones have quite a little bit of a bend in the middle to them. Um, so I don't know if that was just from the way they stored them or the way that they came in the box or whatever for these two. Uh, but there's those ones. And then the one that actually has a sold comp is the Wonder Woman and the Star Riders. Sparkling Super Heroines. I was trying to focus on the stuff behind, so I don't know if I can steal it there, but Star Riders. So this one actually has a sold comp of $15. So that means, and there's other ones that are listed now for $40. Um, but there's one sold for $15, so that's what I'm kind of placing the value on for that. Um, so for those four comics, I wish I had... The fourth one, which would be the Justice League one, kind of a cool little mini series there, but um, I really don't know what to do with these. They're just kind of a cool little collectible. Hopefully, at some of a show or something, I can find somebody that's interested in them. But I saw somebody had a set of all four of them. Obviously, they had the Justice League one, and they they were asking like 160 bucks. That's that's ridiculous. 40 bucks a comic? No way. Um, for these. So I would say if I had all four of them, I'd probably put a price for the set on it of 20 to 50 bucks, depending on the condition of them and the desirability, if there's any other comps around that time. So uh, there's those mini comics. And now the stars of the show, we have these figures back here. Um, 
I have three Spawn figures, and I have three Batman Legends of Batman figures, and then I have the one in the middle here. Uh, so we have Maximum Carnage. That's the Toy Biz Deluxe Carnage Edition, and you can see this box got pretty mucked up the way they stored it, and like the plastic here is kind of pushing in. Um, but these figures regularly sell anywhere between twenty to forty bucks. With a box in this condition, I would say probably at the lower end of that. So kind of a cool figure still for somebody that's a huge Carnage fan. And I would say with the, the popularity of Spider-Man right now, I would say uh, 25 to 30 bucks at a show. And so the rest of the box is in pretty nice shape. Obviously, the Carnage figure hasn't been taken out at all. It still has the plastic. Oh, boy, I'm knocking things over. Still has the plastic bands on it inside there. So very cool that that's intact and still in the package so let me go through the spawn figures first so here's the commando spawn um, these are mcfarland figures mcfarland <clears throat> i have a little comp written on there 10 to 15 dollars i just there was no sold comps for these um so i just put a little question mark on there but um todd mcfarland is very popular in the figure world um, his figures are very high quality, very detail oriented, uh, very cool stuff there. So commando spawn, I based that value kind of on other ones that had sold, um, that were similar figures to what that one is. Other spawn figures I have in this collection. I have the pilot spawn here. Pilot spawns pretty cool. These are all carded still. You can see this one here is pulling away from the cardboard a little bit though. So that hurts a little bit of the value, but still five to fifteen dollars was the value that I that I saw sold on some of those. And then the last spawn figure I have is the chapel figure. I really don't know a whole lot about spawn. Um, I just know that these are carded figures from 1995 that are still in the package and really neat and some collector is going to love them at some point whenever I decide to part with them. Um, really cool figures. I'm glad that I have them in my possession now. So the other ones that I have are these Legends of Batman figures and these are really neat. I remember watching a lot of these um, the Batman cartoons especially the Batman animated series. Um, so love these Batman figures. They're super cool. On this Night Quest Batman I saw values of 10 to 20 bucks. So for me, I would say at the lower end of that, just because the cardboard's not all that nice. There's a giant crease across the, the card there. The corners are dinged. Um, but it's a cool figure there. Has all the accessories still in the package. So really nice on the Night Quest Batman there. And then from the other ones, from the Legends of Batman, I have the Riddler. When I think of the Riddler, I just think of Jim Carrey from Batman Forever. And, uh, I don't know if they ever did a Riddler again, how I would react to that, but I just love Jim Carrey. So even though the movie may not have been the best Batman movie, uh, I just love Jim Carrey just because he's so crazy. But the Riddler one, comps on that one I have between 8 and 10 bucks. Now these aren't, like I said, they're not really mind-blowing. They're not uh, they're not rail, grails or super rare, you know. They're just cool figures that somebody could add to their collection at a relatively reasonable price. And the last one I have here is Catwoman. And really neat there. This one's probably the best condition card that we have. Really good shape there. And comps anywhere between eight to 10 bucks. So really neat that I get to kind of dig through this stuff. You can see that has the original price tag on the bottom there of $6.99. So that's probably what I would sell it for even today. But really cool that I get to come across this kind of stuff. My, actually, my parents come across this kind of stuff, and I get to dig through it. Uh, I'm really the first person that gets to um, assess a value on it after who knows how long it was in that person's collection. And so I get to share it with you guys, and this is fun for me. So I'll have another video about the rest of the stuff that was in that box. I'll give you a little preview. Um, lots of Valiant cards. I know it's not all Valiant um, but there's some Marvel stuff in there. I think there's some DC stuff in there. And uh, hopefully we find some gems in the rough there. I know my dad went through and sorted all the Valiant cards into multiple complete sets. 
Thanks for watching. I appreciate every watch and every view and every comment. And uh, if you guys have any questions or statements about these things, please share them with me. I would love to hear them, and I'd love to respond to you. So have a fantastic weekend, have a fantastic night, and I'll talk to you soon.